going to talk a little bit about um, how we have modernized our legacy application um, at CoStar Real Estate Manager, and we're, we're in the process of doing this. So it's we went from .NET to Angular, which, as you can imagine, was not the easiest thing in the world um, and is not the easiest thing in the world. But um, we did it in much the same way we've been talking about today with Microphone, so it won't be that unfamiliar to you at all. Um, so I just want to start out the segment by saying that design is not just what it looks like and feels like design is how it works. So at the center of my personal, um, I guess, MO uh, is that, you know, design comes first. I used to be a UX designer. So before I was a developer, that was my focus. Um, so I always take into account, you know, that the design is the, is where we get our ideas. And if it doesn't come from there, then, you know, you're starting from the wrong spot. So from there, um, we decided to de develop a design system, just like we have been speaking about with micro components today. Um, and our, our design system led to a component library, which I developed in Angular 10 and distribute using Azure. Um, we went, we were going to go with NPM, but since we use, uh, since we use um, my, uh, Visual Studio, like just the regular Visual Studio, it's a lot easier to use Azure to distribute our packages. So um, that's what we're using for that. Um, and then we use Storybook for, um, for you know, uh, showing our documentation, the, the sort of, uh, I guess, delivering the components to the developers and allowing them to see what the inputs are, uh, copy the source code and use the actual components in their code base because that's the hardest part is getting buy-in from your team, right? So um, no design library, no design system is gonna succeed without the proper documentation. So we've found that Storybook is a good um, source for that. And so far it's been working pretty well. It's in its infancy, obviously, we just started this redesign. So, you know, we have a lot of learning to do, um, but this is the route we're going on so far. So um, I guess the next step in that is like, we we do do a micro component or a micro front end, sorry, um, approach. So for the most part, we do the domain driven design approach We'll do a page at a time, um, and that page will be completely built in Angular, and then we'll build it into the element and put it onto the page. Um, that was until recently um, we decided that, and I'll give you an example. Hold on. So this is like a page that we put in to the application. It's an Angular micro front end. We've just stuck it in. Um, it's just one page. That's like a domain driven. So. That worked out well. It's just that that doesn't always work. So the second approach that we have found to be useful would be the incremental redesign with micro front end components. So I like to call them micro components. <laughs> um, but so you have like an ASPX page. We're still using that backend with .NET because we haven't moved to Azure Cloud yet. Probably will in the future. Um, but right now we're just focusing on the UI. So this is sort of the approach that we're taking is we're gonna incrementally um, update our, our UI. It may not be the prettiest thing in the world. It may be in like a mixed state for a while, but you know, it'll work for us. And so how we do that is I take my library repo, I will build out um, an application project within the repo. So it'll be separate from the library. I'll import one of the components into that application and then I'll build that micro component or micro phone in with just that one component. And then, you know, of course, build out my uh, Webcat, Webpack config like they were explaining in, I think, a couple talks ago um, with the externals being replaced um, with the Webpack, uh, extra Webpack config. So, um, I don't know if you caught that in the last talk or not, but if you need more details about that, you can always hit me up on LinkedIn. Um, my contact information is down here, by the way. So if you ever need to get in contact with me, then that is a good way to do it. We are hiring front-end Angular engineers as well. So that's also something to note. 
Um, but we are in the very beginnings of this redesign and this is sort of the approach we're taking. So if anyone has advice or um, ideas, we're always open to hear more. Um, here's an example of our incremental redesign. Each of these is a different micro component. Uh, this one as well, and then the ASPX header up here. So, um, yep, so that's the moral of the story. Just a little recap, create a design system, make it a common language, develop a component library with proper documentation, you need to identify your inputs, meaning IDs, so that you don't have, you know, confusion about which component is which, and then make sure your distribution strategy works with your, uh, your stack your work stack. Um, decide when and where it's appropriate to follow the domain the domain driven architecture versus where it's safer to incrementally modernize. So that's sort of the approach we're taking and it's working well so far. Um, if you know you're interested in joining our team, hit me up. <laughs> that's all I got.